Hello and welcome to the fourth video of AI Fabric series. In the previous videos, we saw the different concepts behind AI Fabric and also saw how to deploy ML skills using the out of the box packages provided by UiPath. But it could also happen that you have a team of data scientists and they want to deploy a package using the AI Fabric. And thus, in such cases, the AI Fabric also provides us an option to deploy such custom models. So let's just have a look at the agenda. So first we'll go into AI Fabric and add a pre-trained Python ML package. And once this package has been added, we'll deploy it as an ML scale. And then we would also see how to use this ML scale within UiPath Studio in order to close the loop. So without wasting any time, let's just go into AI Fabric and create a new project. So if you see here in the previous two videos, we had already created two projects. The one was using the out-of-the-box pre-trained models and thereafter we deployed a trainable model and in this case we will be deploying a custom model. So let's just create a new project and we'll call it custom model. Just click on create and then we'll be inside the custom model dashboard. And as a next step, we'll add the Python package using the upload zip file option. So before I do that, I would just want to show you what is inside this package. So Atom is a very user-friendly IDE, which I use for most of my projects. So if you see here, this is the package, the English text classifier, which I would be deploying. So every time you deploy a package, it is the main.py file that has been executed or been run. And within this main.py file, if you see, there is a function that's called predict. And the predict function here is the function that would be used in order to make any kind of prediction depending on the inputs that we pass. And if we go inside this AI fabric library here, you would see there is already a pre-trained model. And this pre-trained model is something that would be used in order to make the predictions. I would not go deeper into this. I would be adding this into the Git repository. So if you're interested, you can just go and have a look into this file. So, and if you already understand Python, then it would also be very helpful for you to see how you need to create a custom package in order to upload it into the AI fabric. But now I would just go back to the AI fabric and upload this file. And one more thing, you need to upload it as a zip file. So just click on upload zip file. So the first step is we need to give the name to this package and let's call it custom English text classifier. And let's upload the zip file. So this is my zip file here. It's really recommended that you give a description because this would be used by an RP developer and he should know what kind of input is needed and what kind of output he can expect out of a particular ML skill. So I would just give here an example of an input. movie was awesome and the next step is you need to give an also an example of the output and in this case it would be a JSON file or a dictionary which has two keys the first key is the prediction which is if it's a positive or a negative text and the second key is the confidence score about how good the prediction is so having done that you need to add another thing which is the language so in this case we are using Python 3.6 if you open it up, you have other options as well. And there's also a toggle button, which is asking if we want to enable the training or not. And this is something that has to be decided by the data scientist. And if you are enabling training, it means there has to be a train.py file inside your package. So if I go back to my ML package here, you would see that there is a train.py file. And this Python file is being used to train the model. And so I will just click on yes here. And the moment I click on create, AI Fabric would be checking if the structure of the package is how it is supposed to be. So for example, since I've enabled the enable training, so the AI Fabric would go and check inside the package if train.py file exists or not. And if the structure of this ML package is not fitting the way it is supposed to be, then this upload of file would fail. So just make sure that the structure of your Python package fulfills the needs of the AI fabric. 
and how it is supposed to be is already being defined in the documentation of AI Fabric and I would leave the link inside the description. So for now let's just wait for the package to be added. So now our ML package has been validated. So let's just go ahead and deploy this package. And for that, like before, we need to go on ML skills and just create a new skill. And let's just give it a name and call it custom English text classifier. And the ML package is again the same one. And since we have just one version, we'll choose that. And let's just click on create now. And with this, the new package would then be added to the orchestrator. And the status right now is deploying. Once that's deployed, then the status would change. And we'd be able to see it inside our orchestrator and also be able to use it in the UiPath Studio. So let's just wait for this particular package to be deployed to the orchestrator. Let me just refresh it once. So now if you see our ML skill has been deployed and the status has also changed. And in order to make sure that this has really been deployed, you can just go and check this also in the orchestrator. So let's just do that. And I'll just click on orchestrator here. And there should be an option known as ML skills. So let's just go down to ML skills. And here, if you see, there's a new package that has been deployed and which is called as the custom English text classifier. And at this point, we should be able to use this also in the UiPath Studio. So in order to see that, I will just go in the UiPath Studio. And I'll open the previous project file that we had created. And just go to AF Fabric. And if I open my main workflow, you see there's already an ML skill that has been added, which is the sentiment analysis. And if I click on the drop down, there's just one skill that is there. So you need to refresh this. And this would reconnect your studio with the orchestrator and the ML skills would be updated. And now if I click on the drop down, there's another skill as well, which is the custom English text classifier that we just added right now. So I'll just click on this. And this is the input and the output description that you had defined while creating this package. So I'll use again this particular example, which is movie is awesome. Or movie was awesome. And we'll save the response into the response variable. So it's the same thing as sentiment analysis and then we'll print this response. So let's just run this file. And you would see that the prediction here is positive and the confidence score is 93%. So now it could happen that the confidence score for your prediction is not meeting the threshold. And in that case, you can involve a human in the loop or in order to help the robot to make the prediction. And this prediction can then be saved in a file and then sent back to the AI fabric. Since we have already done it in the previous video, I would not repeat it again. So just for the others who have not seen my previous video, just click on the link above. But anyways, I would show you the activity that you need to use. It's available under ML, under storage, and it's called upload file. And if you just drag and drop it here, it will just ask you for a few options. So the first thing is you need to select the project where you want to upload this. And since we have three projects and I want to upload it in the custom model, so I'll select custom model. Similarly, you need to give the data set where you want to upload it. So if you remember previously in this video, we did not create any data set. So that is the reason why you don't see anything here and we would not be able to send it back to the AI fabric. And if you want to do that, then you would have to create a data set here. And once that's done, you just need to give the path of the data set. So this is something that I've already explained in the previous video. So just go and have a look at that video and see how a file needs to be sent back to the AI fabric and how it could be used to retrain a model. So well, that's all about the custom model. So we saw how you can upload a Python package and then deploy it as an ML skill in the orchestrator. And once this ML skill has been deployed, you can use it also in the UiPath Studio. And I hope now it's much clearer how the entire AI fabric works and you would be in a position to deploy a model on your own. 
So if you have any questions, just feel free to comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Till then, keep automating.